Hi everyone, um, my name is Carol and if you've just tuned in to this video for the first time, I share my visions, my dreams that have come from the Lord and I share encouragements from the Lord um, and I just want to share my testimony today. I was led by the Holy Spirit that it's time for me to share my testimony of how everything happened, <laughs> I guess. So, where do I even begin? God, God is so good. I don't even know where to start. So, I had been, I always have a love for God. Ever since I was a little girl, um, I would pray every morning. I even went to a convent school. A convent school here in South Africa is a school that um, we have like a little church and it's basically a school that, you know, we pray and we worship. And there'd be a, like a little chap chapel that we'd go to that would be opened for us, for anyone to go and pray. So as I grew, obviously, I grew into the world and I kind of drifted from the Lord and I just went into like my own little bubble I guess I would astray from the Lord and I would go back to him I'd go back to him so strong I'd be baptized I'd go find a church and lo and behold I'd astray again from the Lord I think I did this twice and on the, th the third time it happened to me I'd find myself in the same position where I tried everything out of my own strength but nothing happened nothing in my life seemed to to nothing just seemed to come together and I'd cry to the Lord Lord why and I didn't understand that my life was not in alignment with him. I wasn't living according to his will. I wanted the Lord to do what I asked him to do, not considering that he has a plan for me. So again, I seek the Lord. This is the third time now seeking the Lord. I fasted, I prayed. And 2021, I was in my room and I said, Lord, I was doing a three day. I was doing a three day fast. I said, Lord, what else do you need me to do? And I remember I was watching a video by Sid Roth and Sid Roth had a guest, His the guest was Perry Stone. And I watched this video and Perry Stone said, you know, there are people right now who are seeking the Lord and I'm like, whoa, that's me. And the enemy has been putting it in your heart that the Lord has forgiven you too many times. And this time around, he's not going to forgive you. And he says, I'm coming to tell you today that that is a lie. God is always, always going to meet you where you are. And I said, Lord, and I literally felt, I don't know what it was. It came through my head, it went down my body, it went through my fingers, went through my hands, and I couldn't move. The Lord was just, it was like a shower of just like God's grace, God's peace, everything. And I felt the Lord say to me, get up, and I got up from my bed, and I, and I just, I was on the floor. And I laid on the floor, and the Lord told me, let go, and I let go, literally brothers and sisters something came out of my hands something came out of my feet and I knew from that instant that I was delivered that I was saved I sat on the floor of my bedroom and I thought and it was four o'clock in the afternoon ever since that day ever since that day till this moment the Lord has been blessing me listen I never looked back I never went back I said Lord please don't ever ever leave me i know you won't leave me please even if i i are stray hold me tight i never want to go back to the life i was living before 
the life I was living before. I was engaging in alcohol. I go to clubs um, constantly, <clears throat> watching television, no time for the Lord. Um, I was living a life of sin and death. I was living a life of sin and death. And I remember I wanted the Lord so much that the Lord started teaching me. He taught me how to pray. He taught me how to read his word. And I and my prayer started changing because I only used to pray and ask God for things. And the Lord told me, 90% of your prayer should not be you asking me, going on and on. No. 90% of your prayer should be worship. It should be thanksgiving. It should be scriptural. His word. And then maybe 10% then you can ask the Lord. Not like he doesn't know what you need. He does say ask and you will receive. So let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. The Lord delivered me from alcohol. I have never touched alcohol since, since my 30th birthday. When I turned 30, yes, I'm old, oh my word. <laughs> Why did I reveal my age? The Lord told me, listen to me. If you want to carry on with me, you're going to have to stop that. I stopped alcohol immediately. The Lord delivered me from alcohol. The Lord delivered me from everything that I used to do before. And he opened my eyes. For the first time, I saw the blue sky. For the first time, I saw a bird. I saw flowers. Like, not that I never saw it before, but I saw him. When I look at the sky, I see God. When I look at the bird, I thought, wow, he removed the scales from my eyes. Eye salves, it says in the book of Revelations. And I learned, I learned so much. The Lord taught me. I began to go deeper and deeper until my dreams started to change. The Lord would show me something in my dream. He would wake me up and he would say, take a pen and paper and write every night. I'd wake up at 12, I'd wake up at 3, at 6, and I'd be praying. I'd be writing down things. I started dreaming things, and things would happen. Then the Holy Spirit said to me, we need to start a YouTube channel. And I thought, what? <laughs> By that time, I had deleted all my social media. And the Holy Spirit told me, no, no, no. Go back and get your, your Instagram back, because I had deleted Instagram. And he said, no, this time you will use it for the right reasons. Because I would post parties, I would post myself drinking alcohol. But now if you go on my Instagram, it's only the Holy Spirit that is leading me. And my life has completely changed. Till this day, the Lord shares with me his heart. Um, the Lord reveals to me things. Sometimes it's too heavy for me. I don't know what to do with it, but because the Lord is so good and he's so gracious, I thank the Lord every day that he changed my life. My life has never been the same. The Lord showed me so many amazing things. And last night, just last night, the Lord revealed his heart to me because being saved by his grace because we are saved by his grace through our faith the Lord looks at your heart he looks at your heart he doesn't look at your outward appearance he doesn't look at the fact that you went you've been going to church all your life that you were giving to charity if it's not according to his will it doesn't mean anything no offense to anyone he looks at what is inside your heart there are many people who go to church but their hearts are not for the Lord he looks at what is inside your heart he's there's a scripture in Psalm 139 that says search my heart O Lord and know my anxieties if there is any wicked way inside of me lead me to the everlasting he searches your heart that is why it's important that we get our house in order the Lord deal with me he searched my heart I had to go through unforgiveness that I had in my heart that I didn't even know. I thought I had forgiven someone, but the Lord was like, no. 
if you had to meet this person right now, you'd run away from you. You would hide or you wouldn't greet them. You haven't forgiven that person. Listen, the Lord wants you. He revealed his heart to me and he showed me in his heart that he loves his children so much. He doesn't want any of his children to go to hell, to go to eternal condemnation. The Lord looks at your heart. I started to develop a relationship with God. I started to think to myself, if I could do all those meaningless things that I did, wasting my time, then I can focus my time on God. And I started developing a real relationship with Him. I'm not special. The Lord didn't say, oh girl, because you are special. <laughs> no. I took the decision to say, you know what? I want my life to change. I'm tired of going around in circles. I'm tired of going around in circles, not knowing what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best, but I don't know what I'm hoping in. I started living for Christ. In, in the book of Romans, um, it says that we should become a living sacrifice. I offered myself as a living sacrifice to God every day. That he will be my mouthpiece. That I, that I am his vessel that he shall use to speak to his people. <laughs> He's asked me to do a lot of things and I'm, and I'm saying, but you know, Lord, who's going to listen to me? <laughs> who's going to listen to me? Those are the thoughts that the enemy puts inside your mind. The enemy will deceive you and make you think that no one will listen to you. No one will watch your videos. The enemy will deceive you and make you think that, do you really think God is real? Then why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Then, you know what? I took the time. I spent the time with the Lord and I asked the Lord, Lord, help me to understand who you are. Who is the Holy Spirit? Who is Jesus? Because I used to pray to God like he's the ultimate. But no. They're all one. In the book of John, it says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. And who is the word? The word is Jesus. So in the beginning was Jesus. And Jesus was with God. And, and, and Jesus was God. So it's the same person. There's no difference. Yes, I can now tell the difference. Okay, that's the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's God. Did it happen overnight? No, I had to learn. I had to learn. So, if you're wondering to yourself right now, I want my life to change. I'm so tired of all of this that is happening. I don't know what's happening with my life. If you're married, I don't know what's happening in my marriage. My husband is lost, you know. Listen to me. The only way is Jesus Christ. There's no other way. There's no other way. No Sangoma will help you. No medium, psychic, no ritual will help you. Only in Jesus' name. In fact, in the Bible it says we need to burn all the altars. You go and burn them. Because that goes against anything, the Ten Commandments that goes against. Only Jesus will help you. I deleted, I was looking for pictures and videos to show you guys of what I used to do. But I deleted them because I, when I looked at myself, I was like, no man. I couldn't recognize myself. And in the book of 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, when you... Uh, are saved or born again you are a new creature the old things have passed away so that is my testimony and how God changed my life um, I love the Holy Spirit I love the Lord so much with the form of my heart and it's so good to know that I will inherit the kingdom of heaven and that you as well 
can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus, come into their hearts. Take control. There are, there are certain people watching this and they're really hurt and confused. Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Your promises are yes and amen. Your peace that surpasses all knowledge. I pray for your blessing to go out to your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. And I truly, 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 truly pray that God blesses you and that you are blessed by this message. And I pray that you are blessed. Thank you.